recesses of your mind. But when you awake, all that you are now will be erased, and I will rise. Together, we shall become the Time Lord Victorious. <gasps> I've already got tenants return and Shooty's debut to worry about without adding your Scottish arts to the mix. Because I'd wipe the floor with them. Because you refuse to drop the accent. The other two have been to my will. What's your excuse? You just made that up. Yes, it was a clever lie to shut you up, which clearly hasn't worked. But look, I love you, Peter. You know I do, but it's a stern no from me. Oh, yes! Oh, uh... Good to see you again, Russell. <laughs> yes, well, it was my understanding that we were having our meeting at Television Centre in the evening. Tomorrow. Yes, yes, but we know how that's going to go. Figured I'd skip the foreplay and just get to it. Before I throw up, who are you? Not important, Mr Capaldi. That's a funny name. Oh, importantly, before I get started, uh, I assume you've done what I suggested? Oh, no, but I will finish so now. It's actually the one thing I agreed with you on. Ah, good. No more of that. <laughs> no more. Uh, sorry, as you were. It'll be sent down to Doctor Who Road's basement once the renovations have been complete. Good, right, yes. Uh, perfect. I'll return with my full report later today. Until then, uh, no invasions, eh? <laughs> but seriously, God, if you see anything, just... Yeah. Okay, who was that? That was the representative. His actual name must be on the record if he works for the BBC. You'd think so, but no. He's been around a long time, though. Ever since I started? A year isn't that long. Since I first started. Stranger never saw him. He's more of an in the shadows. He's a bloody punchable kind of guy. Give him the old one to the posh prick. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> I, I've never trusted him myself. You know, I, I could always squeeze in a, a 12th Doctor or a, a John Frobisher or a Kykelius cameo into the 60th. You want me to follow him, don't you? Please, 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 what? please. <laughs> What exactly are the stakes here? Well, if he finds anything wrong in this place, any hazard, any possible way to damage the outside world, he could have Doctor Who Road closed down. Good. Maybe for you. But you forget some residents of this road wouldn't have much of a life outside of this place. Hartnell. Trumpet, we. Oh my god. Okay, consider it done. Good, right, yes! Okay, keep me updated on everything he does every week. 
word, every gesture. One wrong move, one slip of the tongue, one cheeky middle finger. And that's it, I've got him. I'll take his ass to the complaints department. They'd eat him alive. <laughs> yes! Right. Shooty stuff, yes. for coming round and doing this for me. You know, I did ask Chatterton and Purvis. Yes, I did ask them to have a go, but uh, they wouldn't stop talking about... Uh, what, what was it? None of us know anything about electronics, Bill. Plus, you called us some truly heinous slurs. And are you even listening? Well, I... Tuned them both out, for the most part. A very unhelpful pair, unlike you two. Wow, sir. It's an outrageous amount of damage. How exactly did you break this again? Well, all I was trying to do was plug it in. That's all. So I kept pushing and, and straining until I realised it wasn't a plug-in appliance at all. You thought that a TV remote had to be plugged into an outlet? What's an outlet? Hmm? What are you looking at? Nice. Ten sugars, yes. Oh, you're a star. Thanks, love. Mm. Can I ask you something? You do a lot for Hartnell. You know he could probably do most of it himself. Oh, I don't know about that. Poor bugger struggles to form coherent sentences these days. Isn't that right, Grandfather? Young lady, I don't intend... I don't... Susan, Susan, Smith, yes, I make perfect sense. Point proven. <laughs> no, but really, I, I, I don't mind. He helped me so much back in the old days. This, this is just my funny way of repaying him. Susan, where is my lunch? I am famished. But he does. Push it sometimes! Sorry. Take your time. Family drama. Best not to get into it. No, not worth it. Oh, piss! Ooh. Hello, hello. What is that? This? Oh, that stupid thing. Tom Baker got it for me years ago as a birthday present in the vain hopes that I would use it. But for me, it's rear projection or nothing. Rear is best, dear boy. Hmm. Well, who fancies a trip down to the edge? falls down this hole, kills the doctor. What hole? Oh, bugger! So, come on. What are we going to do about it? What? Yes, yes, the Zabi are going to be here any minute, dear girl. We must be swift. Zabi? They're not in power of the doctor. What is a power of the doctor? Hmm. Have you not watched my last episode? Oh! <laughs> Oh, my dear girl, I haven't even watched your first. Oh, <laughs> Hartnell Burn, same goes for you, Chinny. Chinny? I think you'd like this one, actually. In fact, it's got you in it for censor rights' sake. My oh, the has it now? Well, this I must see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Unwise move, Jody. What? Don't you like it? Oh no, I loved it. It's no time of the doctor, but what is? It's just that when it comes to his involvement. <laughs> David fucking Bradley! Quite the loud voice. 
this incarnation. Yes. Someone's in a hurry, eh? <laughs> oh, I player. I do hope we're all paying our TV license, or I will have to break your shins. Oh, no good grief. You. <laughs> Oh, Dear boy, it is good to see you. It has been too long. Sit, sit, please. Oh, new face, eh? Always exciting. So, what are you? New doctor, companion, David Tennant, again. I am a representative from the BBC. Villain, then. Ha <laughs> yes. ha! Yes, yes, hello, <laughs> Mrs. Whitaker. A pleasure, truly. I'm afraid I can't stay long, though. I've got work to do. Well, I shall assist. My legs aren't what they used to be, but come on then, what's the job? <laughs> it's ensuring that none of you have any means to escape. Oh, right. Then go fuck yourself, yes. Understood, yes, right. You two know each other. Yes, 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 he's a good friend from the old days. One of the few that stuck around my whole tenure. Of course I was only a stagehand back then, but <laughs> I've gone up in the world. Clearly. And quite right, too. <laughs> he knows Hartnell. And more surprisingly, Hartnell knows him. How old is this guy? Oh. It's at the time. Uh, mustache must go. I've got a game of Smash Bros with tenants that I must win. Jodie, do you mind finishing up? Yeah, of course. Although if you lose that game, you owe me. Got money riding on it. You've only just found out about the game. How on earth did you place a bet on it? Um, I... Well, all right. I hacked your calendar. Sorry. Right. Good o. Could you not do that in future? No promises. <laughs> Cheeky with to get the right. Okay. Hello, Peter. Hello. I should get better at hiding. Hello, Doctor! Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey! Mr. David Tennant, star of way too many shows. It's time to wake up! Ah! Uh, there he is. Looking dapper as ever. I love the new suit. Very jealous. Thank you. I feel better than ever. <laughs> and yet, you're still going to lose. What? At Smash! Now, have you still got those fish fingers in the freezer? I am fat. Uh, I'm afraid not. I have important things to be doing, so I'll be off. Oh, no, you don't. You're not getting out of it this time. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Today, I will be victorious. You really won't be. Where's the on button? There is no need for nervousness. You're a shoe in for this. I'm not wearing shoes. Dude. Sorry. But even when I have the upper hand, I act like this. Ah, so you're, you're actually fine. Yeah. No, I'm breaking it. Uh, yeah, I have ears, guys. Davison, leave the room. Troughton, take a seat. Yes. Uh... So. Uh, Trout. How very formal. This is a job interview. You expected something else? Fair point. Oh, no, 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 don't write anything down yet. We've barely started. Uh, sorry, start again.
No. You're applying for the scientific advisor role, correct? Oh, I am. Very exciting. So, um, tell me a bit about yourself. We've known each other since the two doctors. Is this really necessary? No, 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 sorry. Uh, I'm Patrick Troughton, and uh, I'm 103 years old. Not entirely sure how that works. One of the road's many mysteries. Uh, sorry, go on. Um, I... Well, what we can start with is this so much. I, I, well, basically, what I want to say, I graduated uh, top of my class in Harvard University, as well as excelled in all of my school subject, and, uh, of course, uh, um, most importantly, defeated multiple villains here in Doctor Who world. Huh. Yeah, I, I didn't know about Harvard. You should have put that on your CV. Because right now, all that it says is, well, this. How much do you already know about the scientific advisor role? Well, I'm so very glad that you asked that question, because my answer is... The scientific advisor role is someone who Pertwee did all the time. Is what Pertwee did all the time. No. <laughs> uh, but he did it back in the 70s, uh, which is, uh, I lived then. And that should be common. Ah, yes, good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, pretend I'm not here. No. Who are you? Well, three floors up, and I'm already sick of the question. Sorry, one moment. Attention everyone, if you see a random suited bellend about the place, like the kind of guy who'd be cucked by a pteroleptil, ignore him. He's just a guy from the BBC doing some checks. Let him crack on and we'll be rid of him nice and quick. Thank you. Oh, I do hope that didn't wake Pertwee. Had to tiptoe around him. <laughs> Bless. Oh, yes, I remember you. You shadow-directed part two of Fury from the Deep. Oh, ah, oh, yes, yes, and you wrote something for me, didn't you? Gosh, what was it? Delecting. Relating. This guy's got up the chain of command fast. Doctor in distress! Ah, oh, what a banger! You're a musical genius. This man's evil knows no bounds. The world to me that you both remember. I mean, it was so long ago. It, it, it truly means a lot. And, oh, and also, of course, a big congratulations to you, Colin, of your placement here at Unit. Well deserved. Oh, thank you. That is so kind of you to say. Hang on a minute. You're buttering me up for some bad news, aren't you? <laughs> I need to do a thorough check through every file and item you have in storage. God damn it. But, but uh, my, my interview can and will continue. In fact, let's keep the fun energy going by blasting Doctor in Distress at full volume. Doctor in Distress. Let's all answer his SOS. Doctor in Distress. Bring nope. Back nope, not taking it. Take no, nope, you can't make me. Give it some. Road. This place may be safer with that Moffat gone, but that doesn't mean it's easy. I wonder if this buffoon here knows anything. Say, Smith, heard any rumours? Are you trying to give me a side quest? What? No, uh, I mean 
about getting out of here. Why would you want to leave? This place is wicked. Oi, 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 oi! It's my catchphrase. Hands off. So, you actually like being here. Why? I agree that free will is cool. But, think about all this place has to offer. I mean, there's free food, a place to live, adventure. <laughs> oh, and immortality. Oh, okay, I'll give you that last one. But. Is there really no way out of here for us? Not for any of us. Oh, good. <clears throat> Attention, everyone. If you see a random suited bell end about the place, like the kind of guy who'd be cucked by a pteroleptil, ignore him. He's just a guy from the BBC doing some checks. Let him crack on and we'll be rid of him nice and quick. Thank you. BBC. Thinking that's so cool just because they can hop from the outside world to here at their own leisure. I'm happy here, thanks, unlike you indecisive fucks. BBC. I came as soon as I heard. Uh. Did you hear? Yes. Hartnell just informed me. I didn't show up in power of the doctor. <laughs> I know. I... what? All the others did. Davison, the other baker, McCoy, McGann, even David fucking Bradley. Quite the... Oh, shut up! Oh, okay. No, old chap, I, I meant... And on top of all of that, David Pissing Tennant came back. David Tennant is an attention-seeking asshole! There is a man from the BBC looking for escape routes! Well, why didn't you start with that? Ah! We need to hide this from him. At all costs. The only known gap to the outside. Where is he now? I say, who goes there? Sylvester McCoy, the man who heard everything you just said. And is livid that he is only just now finding out. We had no idea who to trust. Like that Smith idiot I hear, he actually likes being here. If we'd have told the likes of him, he would have ratted us out instantly. Agreed. Now that representative chap is on his way up here right now. So who here is the best at spouting utter bollocks as a distraction? You know, that's a genuinely hard question to answer out of the two of you. All right, I'll do it. Cover this thing up. Come on now, Harry. We've got work to do. <laughs> Mr. BBC man. <laughs> Welcome to the Tom Baker years flat. <laughs> Where none could escape. Not ever. I did forget how erratic you were. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. No! No? No, you, 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 you can't start there, because that's not where the tour begins. Allow me to give you an extensive tour of my lovely flat, in painstaking detail, starting all the way over here. It would be a crime if I did not offer you a gelatinous child. Someone's a little piggy. <laughs> so, whenever someone calls up, I have this by the phone. So I pick it up. And I say, sorry, the line's dead. And they genuinely believe it's true. 
Now, on to my Doctor Who dollies. <laughs> I will go through them in painstaking detail. So don't, don't interrupt me. So we have my two Tommy boys here. Yes. One in the Ponce's clothes yeah, no, and one in my superior blue It's clothes. lovely, Tommy. only wore a couple Tom, times. Tommy's lovely, but I must get on. There's also the master, of course. Oh. You know the master. He invaded not too long ago. I'm sure it's in your BBC reports. I know that face. That is the face of a collector. The lapel pin. Quite nice, isn't it? Worth a pretty penny. I don't remember what episode I wore it in. I don't, none of a fucking know. All that I know is that it's very valuable. <laughs> and of course, my stories. I don't have them all, unfortunately, so I would like to lodge a formal complaint with you and the BBC, whatever the fuck you are. Uh, so get them all, because they're all... Mwah. You did have some tremendous stories. Oh, and the one that started it all. Robot. Oh, yes. Well, I was never a big fan of robots. What the fuck did you just say to me? I'm going to hit you harder than I sucked that weird green creature. After his previous experience, the doctor approached the thing with the utmost caution and thoughtfully sucked it off. This has been ah, chef's kiss, magnifique, tremendous. In fact, and I thank you. Wholeheartedly. Now, if you're done stalling, I'd like to know what's in the bedroom, please. Oh, I bet you would, you bony rascal. <laughs> Shut up. I'm looking. No! Ah, we were wondering when you'd show up. Sex! You know... I'm just gonna go. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Yes! By the way, thank you for letting me store all my funny items here whilst Amy throws her rager upstairs. I don't know why she needed me to clear up all my nerd shit, but, oh well. Oh, look at you, thinking you can beat me with your eyes closed, and, and it's, it's working. That kill was bullshit. How are you doing that? I'm trying to concentrate. Do you mind? No, I want to win. Not on this inane game. Hey, these things aren't cheap, you know. I don't care. I don't care about the game or you. All I want to do is get out of here. If I can't do that, in the body of David Tennant, then I'll just have to find someone else. What? I, I don't understand. Only one dormant mind. But he's not stuck with a complete arse. So it'll do. If you're not David, then who are you? No, no, Smith, you're doing it all wrong. Allow me. <clears throat> and who the hell are you, anyway? I'm the Time Lord Victorious. A consciousness on a mission. A mission to escape this wretched place by any means necessary. I'm thousands of years old. And that is all you're getting! If there's one thing I love, it's telling stories. That would explain the sign on your door. I'm 
I'm thoroughly enjoying this as well, considering I was stuck inside another man for half of it. You were... What? His consciousness was inside Derek Jacobi. How on earth did that even... Wait, no, hang on, let me guess. More fat. Yes, all right. Should have guessed that. With every passing day, I thank Eccleston for his sacrifice. Uh, now then, how about this Capaldi chap? Has he had much grief? Oh, bugger! I mean... Oh, bugger! <laughs> um, uh, he was blinded by a weeping angel. However, last I heard, he's mostly regained his sight. How on earth did that even happen? No idea. You don't happen to know anything about that, do you? What? Me? Uh, no! No, I have no idea! I'm only wee little Mrs. Bartley, so I, I wouldn't know at all. But if I did have to take a wild guess, it would be that he was hugged by a Cyberman too hard that he got all electric in his retinas. And that makes no sense. Shut up and eat your plum pudding. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Condiment to the chef. <laughs> oh, uh, that that must be Mrs. Pollard. B R B. None of us are buying that, right? Definitely not. That clearly wasn't plum pudding. Anything yet? No. If anything, the more he talks to people, the more he seems like just a genuinely nice guy. I'm starting to wonder if this is just a waste of time, and he actually does have our best interest at heart. We can't let him slip away just yet. He'll slip up, just you watch. Chaps, I'm looking for the BBC representative. Hmm? Oh, hey, John. Uh, no, sorry, I'm afraid you just missed him. I truly hope we see him more often. You and me both. I'll never keep up with him like this. Not in this frail old body. Oh, come now! Us older doctors are forever in our prime. Join with me! <laughs> <laughs> What are you do it? Oh, fuck it. Get uh, I read that. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? I need better legs and I need them now. Not to brag, but uh, none are better than mine. Especially when I find the shoes that fit just perfectly. Sold. Hike. that covered there? Yes. Get in. Right, okay. Well, uh, thank you for coming in. I will get back to you once all of the interviews are complete. Fabulous. I shall wait by the phone. Okay. Uh, Davison, you can come in now, please. Ah. Your go. Wait, hang on. You're going for this as well. What did you think I was doing here in the first place? Hello, Unit HQ. Ah, again. Uh, your interview isn't until tomorrow. Everything all right? I'm in need of something from your archive. Bit of a weird ask, 
This isn't a prop shop, Paul. Even though it's very much set up like one at the moment, but just, you get it. I wasn't asking. I am the Time Lord Victorious, and I have a demand. Give me knockout gas. <laughs> well, this is awkward. We, we don't actually have any. You'd think we would, but honest, no. Oh dear. Ha! My leg! I, I can't feel my leg! Better make some there. Oh, calm down. It's a temporary paralysis. Wakey, wakey, eggs and wait, no, hang on. Are you. you? Yeah. Ah, oh, good oh, wait, no, hang on, you would say that, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, usually. Look, the Victorious may seem like it's gone, but it's not. It's moved. So we need to go and find it hey. now. Tell me something only David Tennant would know. Okay, um, right. Ah, when filming Day of the Doctor, I put post-it notes all over your trailer saying how great I was to convince you to leave so I could have the 50th all to myself. Remember that? That was you? Ah, oh, did, uh, did I not fess up to that one? Sorry, I... For years, I've had this in a voice, guiding me down the wrong path. Feeding my vanity. Like with the Super Smash Docs incident. Yes, exactly! I always thought my conscience was just fucked, but turns out it's just this Time Lord Victorious thing that we need to stop. Oh. Oh, I see. So much is making sense now. Sort of. I'll get it. Hello there! Wait, no, bugger off! Are you infected? Um, I'm not a zombie, if, if that's what you mean. Alright. You two are jumpy today. <laughs> you! Oh, you're the representative! Yes, I remember now! It is a pleasure uh, to meet you both. No. You need to get out of here! Oh, uh, sorry, am I intruding on something? <laughs> we mean the road. There's this rogue consciousness. Uh, the Time Lord Victorious. It wants to inhabit your mind so it can escape and wreak havoc. It's been living inside Tenant for at least a decade. Oh, that sounded naughty. So please, I know it sounds insane. But you have to believe us. And run! <sighs> you know... This morning, I would have thought that was all utter bollocks, but after what McGann and Hurt have told me, yes, I shall go. Still not good at hiding, then. Hello, doctors. Get behind us. Hello, representative. Anyone feeling sleep? If you want him, then you're going to have to go through us. You're outnumbered. No second chances. Quite adorable the way you finish each other's sentences. Although I know how symbiotic you can be, being in you. Are the Sonics 4 anything? Well played. Best to give up now. You'll have a backup plan. You know me so well. Then again, we were together for so long. Perhaps we should be together again? Can't say I don't feel cheated, you sharing other doctors' bodies. Hurts my feelings. <laughs> oh, if you think just one is bad. 
How I know you're evil beyond all this. It's the gloating, the monologuing. Good people just crack on, you know. Good people are one thing. Boring. <laughs> you're all one in the same goody two-shoes twats. <laughs> like what all these doctor actors were. <laughs> this more sincerely, but why are you hitting yourself? Ha! I knew I still had some control! Right. Come on, Doctor. Think. Think! That's it. Oh, think! Okay. Come on. Strong enough. I need what he had. A dormant mind. I can't control them. But I might be able to control him. <sighs> Stop it! Oh, hit me! Knock me out! Please, come on, it, it, it's really good, trust me. Fine. What have you got to say? <clears throat> Casanova sucks! What? Watch your head! You made me leave my office, you prick! I suppose it's a good thing you had Capaldi follow me all day. You can't prove that. <laughs> Time to... And we are back to normal. Well, um, our normal. And how sure are you that the victorious entity is contained in there? Unit has assured me that as long as it's not opened, then we should be hunky-dory. A buff fish. What? What? Anyway, I assume we passed with flying colours? No escape routes in sight? Oh no, there's something being hidden oh. by Tom Baker. He was acting... Stranger than he usually does, so if you wouldn't mind quarantining his entire floor, and I'll be back. Ooh, but you'll need an excuse. Uh, tell you what, say there's an outbreak of... Here we go, Spectrox Toxema. Yes. 
Once they're all cleared out, I'll have some of my men come in and cordon it all off. No one in or out except for you and I. Okay, um, yes, uh, consider it done. Thank you. Right, I think that's everything. This is going to be a hell of a thing to write up. My report is going to take days. <laughs> Welcome to Doctor Who Road. <laughs> you know, I must confess, I always thought you were against us, all us in this road. You know, I thought you wanted this place shut down or something. <laughs> what? No, no, goodness no. Russell, maintaining Doctor Who's long and important history is my top priority. I want this place to go on safely forever. Something I can't say for the BBC as a whole. You recall Michael Grade? <laughs> There's always a bigger fish, as they say. <laughs> Fingers crossed for no more shenanigans. Indeed. See you soon.